Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. Today's devotion is found at Psalm 139, verses 1 through 4, 23 and 24. O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down-sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. Thou compassest my path and my lying down, and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wicked way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Today's devotion is entitled, No Secrets with God. You know that terribly annoying and unpleasant kid at school? Yes, that kid. When you see him, you may have a thought that if something unpleasant happened to him, well, that would be okay with you. That'd be funny. Serves him right. Oops, God knows you had that thought. It's embarrassing to realize that God knows every intimate detail about us. But the good news is, there is a sense of blessing with knowing God knows. Because it helps us to think and meditate right, it corrects wrong thinking. And the thought that God sees our secret sins should make us recoil in horror for those sins that protect us from spiritual harm. One of our problems is that we take sin lightly. We don't see sin as God sees it. God is sickened by sin because He is holy. Sin must be paid for that why Jesus died on the cross. To pay the price for our sin, that is a holy God demands, and that is a call to a higher standard for us. We all think and do things that we do not want others to know about, but a true hatred of sin will cause us to stop those secret sins that grieve our Lord. Our iniquities are open to God, they are set before Him. Remember, there are no secrets with God. Our lives are an open book before the Lord. Our key verse is Psalm 90 verse 8. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. In this devotional, remember that God knows the thoughts and meditations of our hearts. And this is about the devotional. We should all take sin seriously. Now let's close in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that just help us Pray that um, that we all take sin and that God teaches us how to take sin seriously and how we can live with you in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Renew. Hope you tune in tomorrow live at 8.05 a.m. And also Romans 12.2 And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and